Hello again. This is Renee and welcome to my channel. This will be a message for the collective. Let's hear what message Spirit has for us. This is a timeless reading. So, whenever this reading finds you, is when you're meant to be. And meant to accept it and receive it. Okay. Spirit, guides, and angels, please deliver me a message for the higher good. Spirit, guides, and angels. Please deliver me a message for the higher good. We have the Nine of Cups. You may have a proposal coming in, or this could be a message. This could be a message from someone you care about. Someone who you're very passionate about. Or like I said, this could be for love. The King of Wands. Wow, okay. Let's see what else we have. We have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, we have the Hermit and the King of Cups. Wow, okay. Let's see. We have the Page of Wands. More than one card keeps flying out. Okay, you have the Queen of Wands and the Six of Swords. You have the Page of Swords. Oh, wow. Two more cards. Of course, two more cards. Okay, you have the Ten of Cups and you have the Hangman. <laughs> and bottom of the deck energy, your overall energy is the Nine of Cups. This is a wish that you're bringing forward. You are coming into your fulfillment. That's huge. Okay. You've got the nine and the ten of cups. So you're progressing. This is a progression into the things that you want out of life. I feel with the Knight of Cups, you're going to receive a message. You're going to receive a message um, that's actually going to bring you a lot of truth, a lot of enlightenment. It's actually going to take you to a place of feeling more calm. Wow. I feel like you're you're thinking about moving on. Um, you're thinking about what you should do. Maybe you have two, two 
in your life right now. You have the King of Wands and the King of Cups. The King of Wands, he's very feisty and charming and assertive. And the King of Cups, he's more into his emotions. He's very compassionate and very loving. I'm feeling like there's two coming forward for you. You're feeling like you should walk away from the situation. Which one are you walking away from? Are you walking away from the King of Cups? Are you walking away from the King of Wands? But I feel like you, you feel like in the situation, you're feeling burdened, like you're doing all the work on your own. Like, yeah. And the, then this other king comes in and he provides more stability. You're kind of, that, that's what this hermit is. You're kind of in your head about it. You're trying to find some clarity about the situation. You're trying to find more wisdom on it because you don't know which way to turn. So you're looking within yourself you're, you're very curious how it will come out. And I think your curiosity about the situation is actually making you more anxious. You also have the Page of Wands. I feel like you're ready to move in a new direction to find happiness and pleasure and full, full contentment. See, you have the, the nine of, of cups and the ten of cups. So with the nine of cups, you're making your wish. You're moving into your full happiness and contentment. It's all right there. At the bottom you have your the high priestess. So I feel like you should trust yourself in this situation. You should trust your intuition about the situation and decide who are you going to walk away from? Are you going to walk away from this king of wands or this king of cups? But I feel like regardless, you're walking away from one of them because you're feeling burdened. One of them is making you feel burdened. And see, once you make that decision to move ahead, it leaves you in a better situation. You're actually fully enlightened. You are able to um, extrude your creativity. You're able to just, I mean, they're all, if you look at these cards, she is getting full enlightenment. She is, is just hanging in her contentment and she is just bursting with excitement over this, this creation that, that she's come about. You, you never, yeah, you, you never sense to, I'm, I'm just speechless some days after, after doing these readings because they, it, it's just so, so interesting how it's all going to unfold. If this message resonates with you, please give me a message in the bottom. I want to know more about your situation. Please let me know how this turns out. Um, but I feel like after you make your final decision, you're actually going to feel so much better. 
you're going to actually feel like a weight has been lifted off of you. Okay, let's get some clarity for this situation. Let's get some clarity. Okay, can I have a card for the Knight of Cups, please? The Ten of Cups again. Yeah, th this is... This is a wish come true. This is a wish come true. She's fully content. She's she's basking in her happiness. She's fully content with her decisions. Okay, and with the hermits, you have the lovers. Yeah, I think after coming out of this solitude, you're going to find that you're fully supported uh, after you make your choice. The, the lover's card was initially called the choice. It was called the choice because he, in the original card, he was choosing between two lovers. And... He needed to make a choice which one. Was it going to be a more traditional lover or was it going to be more um, extraordinary? That's the only thing that's coming to me right now. But yeah, I feel like once you make this choice, it's going to blossom. Okay, and yes, you have the King of Cups again. Okay, I believe you're moving. <laughs> you're moving towards the King of Cups. You're moving towards the King of Cups. I'm, I'm, I believe that's the choice that you're kind of leaning towards. You're leaning towards someone who's very compassionate and loving. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Please. I mean, this King of Wands. Tell me about this King of Wands. Yeah, Five of Wands. Okay. Okay, with this Five of Wands, this gentleman right here, because he's so attractive, he's so bold, he's so um, assertive, I feel like you may feel like there's competition in order to gain him. I feel like you're kind of weighing your options, that there may be too much competition. Um, you're afraid that of the conflicts that might rise. Okay, what about that? Yep. <laughs> the King of Cups, he's your guy. He is your guy. The Queen of Swords, she's going to tell you the truth. She is going to tell you the truth. And I believe this is you standing in your truth on the situation. And your truth is the King of Cups. Yeah. With the Page of Swords, you have the Ace of Swords. I believe that you have clarity in this information. You, well, in this situation, you have clarity in this situation. Um, this situation is going to bring big ideas, big thoughts. This King of Cups really cares about you. He really cares how you feel. Yeah, the Ten of Pen, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles on the. Ten of Wands. So yeah, he's he's waiting there. The the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, he's waiting there. He's like focused on what well, he, he's focused on his pinnacle right now. No, this is the King of Cups. I mean, the King of Wands. The King of Wands isn't even focused on a relationship right now. That's the reason why 
you feel like you're carrying all the load. The King of Wands, this may be someone you're dealing with now, but this King of Wands, he's just focused on his money. He's focused on, on making more of his bank. Maybe that's why you feel like there's too much competition because you feel like you're not only competing with other people in order to gain his love or trust. You're competing with his success, his job, earning his pinnacle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and with the the page of wands you have the ace of pentacles. So I believe that you know don't worry if if you feel like you have to stay because of financial instability. I feel like new money is coming. It's coming. You just have to trust yourself. Trust yourself. Don't stay just because you're focused on him financially. You can put your trust that new money is coming trust yourself use your intuition in this okay spirit can we have a clarification for the ten of cups please the four of pentacles yeah you you're having a problem you're having a problem trusting that you're going to be secure in the situation but you need to you need to trust you need to trust yourself you're stronger than that trust yourself that it's going to work out because you have the ten of cups the ten of cups that that's the best card in the day as far as happiness goes other than the sun um so feel, feel secure in that don't don't feel like you're insecure with your your money. Yeah, you're you have the eight of swords and temperance. So you know that you have to make a decision. You know that you want to leave this situation, but you're kind of holding yourself back. You don't feel like you can make it. But you can. I feel like with the temperance card, you should have hope. You should have hope and keep them going down your path. Move towards your, your abundance. Move towards your happiness. Wow. Okay, can I have a card for the Queen of Wands, please? The Ace of Wands. Okay. Now you have three of the four aces in your reading. This is definitely a new beginning. Now with the ace of wands, this is a new creative beginning. Um, you're going to get new ideas. You're going to start new projects. This is going to be inspiration. And she is creating. She is creating as the Queen of Wands holds her wand up. She is creating her future. She's creating something for her. And I believe you need to trust your intuition for this new beginning. This new beginning is coming. So you, you need to choose happiness or 
holding yourself back. But I don't believe, I don't believe you're going to hold yourself back. I don't believe that you're confined. Okay, and yes, you have the Knight of Pentacles over the hangman. So, <clears throat> I believe that after this, you're actually, yeah, and you have the star. So, yeah, you have healing and you're moving on. Yeah, you have justice as well. So, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, she's very independent. She can take care of herself. She doesn't, she doesn't need anything or ask anything from anybody. She can fully do things on her own. And I think that's what you're stepping into. You're stepping into that. Um, and with the star card, with the star, you are actually finding a renewal. You're gaining more hope. Um, you're having faith in your situation. Because you know that the best thing is for you to move on from this. Okay. Let's pull. Let's see. Let's pull this one. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take two cards for clarity. Um, and then we will end this reading. Yeah, if you will. Um, comment in the comment section if this reading resonates with you at all. Okay. Okay, exposed and revealed. Something was exposed and revealed to you, and that's what puts you into the situation of trying to make a choice between these two kings. I think you 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 found out the truth, so it's kind of pushing you towards one more than the other. One more card, spirit. Can I have one more card for clarification? Okay. Okay, and you have endless possibilities. Okay. And a burst of magic on the bottom. Yeah, you definitely, this is a new beginning for you. I think you should go ahead and accept this new beginning. Um, accept your independence. Your, I mean, I'm not telling you to leave someone or, you know, that has to be your own decision. But this is my advice. My advice for you to gain your clarity and your contentment in the situation to bring out your happiness and to unburden yourself okay if this reading has resonated with you please like and subscribe hit that bell um so that you don't miss another reading and Thank you for joining me. I will see you on the next one. Love and light to you. Many blessings.